So welcome everybody. Good evening. I'm Ann Nichol. I'm Executive Director with the United Nations Association of New York. And I'd like to welcome everyone to our webinar this evening to see a film called Faith's World. We're partnering this evening with By Kids, an organization that produces films and distributes documentary films created by young people with an aid of a filmmaker, and in this case, uh, Joyce Chopra. We had a, a very fruitful collaboration with By Kids for the past 10 years. Today is International Day of Persons with Disabilities recognized by the United Nations. The UN's work on disability has always focused on highlighting the value and contribution that disabled people can and do make to our society. A prime example is Faith Gilbo, who is the subject of our film this evening. It is an inspiring documentation of her energy, her refusal to be constrained by her disability, and is an example of what can be achieved with support and encouragement. We're so pleased to be able to have you, Faith, with us today. Our moderator will be Robin Van Poyenbroek, who is our Executive Vice President at UNA New York, and he will start the discussion and introduce our panelists. A big welcome to Faith, who's a BY Kids a filmmaker and also the director of Faith's World. Uh, Faith, so good to have you uh, with us this evening. Thank you. Hi. So next is my pleasure to introduce Holly Carter, who is the founder and executive director of uh, By Kids. <clears throat> and Anne spoke a little bit about uh, By Kids uh, earlier in the program, but I would like to mention that uh, BY Kids produces documentary films by kids and then partners with public television uh, and educators to inspire conversations around global issues of human dignity and social justice. Uh, films produced by, uh, by kids uh, basically share the stories of children who confront issues such as immigration, bullying, juvenile justice, uh, climate change, uh, child marriage, and, and much mm. more. So thank you so much, Holly, for all uh, the great work that you do. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have with us uh, Joyce Chopra, who has produced and directed a wide range of award-winning films and is also a BY Kids uh, film mentor. Now, before starting our discussion, uh, I would like also to thank His Excellency Ambassador Luis Gallegos, who's the Foreign Minister of Ecuador, and he, who was the chairman at the United Nations of the Ad Hoc Committee to promote and protect the rights and dignity of persons with disabilities, and whose efforts were actually instrumental in the creation of the UN International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Distinguished panelists, dear moderator, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, Today we commemorate the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Persons with disabilities are estimated to represent 15% of the world's population. One in 10 children has a disability. One in five women is likely to experience a disability during her lifetime. Furthermore, 46% of persons 60 years of age and over have a disability. In the humanitarian context, these numbers can go much higher. We dedicate today to all persons with disabilities, their families and communities, and every single one of us who one day may have a disability. We recognize the valued contributions made by all persons with disabilities to overall well-being and diversity of their communities, and recall that the promotion of a fully enjoyment of their human rights and fundamental freedoms and the full participation of persons with disabilities, young and old, will result in significant advances in the social, economic, and development of our societies. Today's screening has provided a lively reminder of why we must continue carrying the work toward the effective protection and promotion of rights of persons with disabilities. Faith Galbraith is not only an example, but a role model. She was born with cerebral palsy, epilepsy, and cortical vision impairment, but also with fierce determination. From skydiving to traveling to New York, where she participates during the Fashion Week with Runaway of Our Dreams, Faith is a reminder why we cannot allow women, and in particular women with disabilities, to remain underrepresented in many sectors and in leadership positions. There are many women with disabilities who make great contributions to our society who definitely do not receive the recognition they deserve. Improving accessibility, strengthening inclusion, 
solidarity and equality must remain our priority and it is our firm commitment to build a society free of discrimination and without the barriers that limit the enjoyment of human rights in particular persons with disabilities. We are convinced that only together we will achieve these objectives in order to benefit one billion people with disabilities, rightfully claiming nothing about us without us. Thank you very much. So Faith, I want to start with you, of course, uh, the star of the movie, as the ambassador was saying, with fearless determination. Uh, you won the Youth Vision uh, Award at the United Nations Association Film Festival. So how do you feel about this uh, achievement? Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I didn't have much time to live it. But uh, I'm just going to wing it. It's already got it. I'm like so proud of myself. And I realized that the whole world can see my documentary. And with my parents' support, they have feelings about it. And like, it's huge that like I won your award and the whole big world can see it. Why this film? What drove you to, to this production, to this theme? We knew that we wanted to do a film that allowed people to have more humanity and more understanding around disability. Runway of Dreams and how this fashion show, you guys are part of it um, in the film. I have literally never been to a more moving, powerful, it's a room filled with people who are given a chance to shine. Their parents are all there, incredibly proud. It, it, it was a very dynamic evening. Faith and Joyce, you are a, just an incredible team. Joyce, as some of you may know, has mentored one film for each of our three seasons. So this is her third time and it was certainly a charm. Disabled people are the largest minority in the world. In our work with Bike Kids, we want people to be able to lean into hard conversations. And when you meet Faith and when you meet her family and when Joy so eloquently allows her to become human, it allows us to connect to her in a way that takes out the fear and allows us to connect as human beings. I was very eager to do this film. So many people have some form of a disability. So Faith, let me come back to you then. So what did you think? What were your first thoughts? I literally screamed. I was getting dressed in my room and I came out and my mom's in the bathroom screaming and I read it and I was hugging her and kissing her. Oh my gosh, it was exciting. Happy moment. <laughs> So our model is very simple. We take an extraordinarily talented person like Joyce Chopra. We steal them away for a month. They are paired with an extraordinary young person like Faith. They work together to tell, you know, really the idea of the film mentor, which in this case was Joyce, are the quiet eyes of creativity that are able to shine through the young person so they can tell their story in this artistic, emotional, beautiful way. Um, once we have said incredible film, the package of films then goes to WNET, who is our presenting station within the PBS network. And then it goes to many different cities. Last season, we were in 155 cities, but the big effort um, beyond having 84 million people see these films on television, so Faith is right that there are a lot of people about to see this film. Um, the sweet spot for us is really how we bring our films into the classroom. So we develop a school guide and a take action and we partner with Discovery Education that allows the films to be in half the middle school and high schools in America. And then we have an extraordinary partnership with an organization called Pen Pal Schools that connects young people in the school setting well, with kids around the world so that they can see Faith's film and then communicate about the issues in the film, learn how to have better conversations with a more empathetic ear and take action. It, they're really meant to be training young people to not only care about an issue, but figure out an access point that will make them able to make the world a better place, which is really then the full scope of the kind of work that we're trying to do. So. That is a way of saying that we, through the efforts of all these amazing partners, are able to reach 246 million people. I think when we begin to celebrate differences without having fear of those differences, the world will be in a much better place. What did you hope to achieve? Like, what was I didn't really have any expectations at the point. 
all I wanted to do was advocate for people with disabilities through this film. I think I was extremely able to do that. She actually won the Youth Vision Award in the UNA Film Festival. But I also wanted to say that you were a finalist in the Children's International Peace Prize competition. Faith has already found audience and found traction, and she's going to be a worldwide advocate. Faith, what was your favorite part of directing? I like that I was in charge because usually... My brother in the house is in charge of stuff, so I got to be in charge of my own <laughs> film, and I was excited. That's right, you're in charge. And thanks to my amazing teacher who has made virtual school amazing. These parents work so hard for their kids. The resiliency, right? Just the get up and go of these kids and say, whoever said it so beautifully, just to be grateful for what we have. You know, I have an amazing life, said your friend Faith. Um, and to be grateful is just a lesson that all of us should have. Just be considerate and be careful and think a lot when you see a person with disability and don't bully them and try to become friends with them. Thanks everyone for attending tonight and a really huge special thank you to the panel. Um, this was an amazingly wonderful, beautiful film. It's really lovely. Joyce, thank you for helping Faith and Faith, I want to wish you all the best in the future and to your family. And Robin, thanks for uh, moderating. And a, a really special thank you to Holly, bykids.org. You can reach us at unanyc.org.